What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So there are points in time in our shop environment that a customer will bring a car in, and I will have to say that we're not putting any more money into this car, meaning the customer and me, because we're a team. The customer funds me to, to keep the car on the road. Some cars, at a point, you have to just stop. Uh, so a 60,000 mile BMW that's not in mint condition, uh, for example today, that it's a turbocharged four cylinder, hasn't been 100% kept, needs some front end work. Now it has big cooling system problems. We know next is the turbo. We know next is gonna be the head gasket. I would rather the customer bail on this, this car now than have a sour taste in, my, in their mouth of me saying, oh yeah, sure, let's just fix it. Let's fix it. Let's fix the cooling system. It's a good car. It's a good car from zero to 60,000 miles. Past that, they're pieces of shit. Um, I have another customer with a uh, 07 Trailblazer SS, and I just had to tell her, listen, we have to stop putting money into this. Now, if the customer uh, ponders it for a while, because you know, I'll say no right off the bat, and say, hey, take it to the dealer and, and get an estimate and see if it's something that you really want to commit to, right? Um, and if they really want to commit to it, then I will. But I don't want to go on the first on the first go around and say, yeah, this job is for me and I'm licking my chops because I'm going to get all this money. Knowing that they have a nightmare headache vehicle uh, that they're going to own and try and maintain for the next 40,000 miles. Which it, it probably won't make it that far. That's why most BMW owners uh, lease them and trade them in between 30 and 60,000 miles, somewhere in that area. Because they, they're already aware of the, the nightmare headaches, just like Mercedes. And this is all the newer stuff. The older stuff, it's not the same way. Uh, and anytime I get a BMW in here that's overheating, that's 10 or 20 years old, the cooling system's shot, the head gasket's shot, it's, they're just junk. So I do do these jobs, but then they're just so problematic for the customer. And uh, I don't want to be part of that, that, that taste in your mouth. Um, sometimes you just got to tell your customer, we really want to fix this because it doesn't get any better from here. You know, and, and then the, the customer with the Trailblazer SS, I said, from the, from the outside of the car and inside of the car, it's a 60,000 mile car. Uh, motor and transmission, 60,000 miles. Everything else underneath of that is weathered and worn. So you're talking about restoring the undercarriage now of that car. It's restoration time. It's, it's your past just fixing certain things. And that requires transmission lines, rack and pinion, steering lines, uh, you know, diff covers, frame rails, control arms, so restoration. A lot of people don't realize what it costs to restore a car. So now this BMW that has 60,000 miles on it needs a lot of plastic stuff replaced in the cooling system not, and, and also the water pump, right? What they're putting in there is only going to last another 60,000 miles or less. So just put that in perspective. It's just, in my opinion, me, is not working. Those cars, Audis, BMWs, all those high-end European cars, are, they're not worth it. And most of the cars today that you buy are not worth it. They're not designed to last like that car out there. The frame's not rotted out. The body's not rotted out. It has the original steel brake lines from 1986 in it. I mean, if that just gives you a difference in quality, Built. The plastic is in good shape. Uh, what plastic there is in that car. So, yeah. So, I'll back off on certain cars and say, yeah, yeah take it to the DM the dealer and see what they have to say. And then after you hear what they have to say, if you want to commit to it, we'll commit to it. Uh, but I rather the customer really know what they're getting into, other than coming into the shop and saying, hey, Mr. Customer, you know, 80% of your cooling system needs to be restored plus whatever else falls apart in our hands. It's just really not a good thing uh, for a road to go down, especially for a customer I've been servicing uh, their multi-vehicles for 18 years. And you know, they, they dabbled in the exotics, they had a Mercedes, barely could make it 100,000 miles. Barely, okay, without major issues. Um, they should have got rid of it at 60. They got a, they got a BMW. Here we go, 60,000 miles, it's time to get rid of it. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there who say the same thing. Sometimes this isn't about how much money can I make off a customer. You know, they have to come here with a problem 
and then I have to, you know, figure out what's good for them uh, and what's good for me, and then, you know, we make an agreement on fixing the car. I was married once, I don't want to be married again, and I definitely don't want my customers to be unhappy about me saying, well, I put $6,000 into this car, and now you're telling me it needs another $6,000. This is why I said, this is the only, this is only the beginning for a BMW owner. The same thing with Mercedes and Jaguar and all these guys. They're such garbage built vehicles. They are temporary transportation. And that's the way I feel. Thanks for watching.